I want to tell you why I don't accept the doctrine of faith alone. And I know this topic has been done to death, but it still keeps coming up in many comments on this channel. So let me give you my take on this important issue. We, we have to define, first of all, what is meant by the doctrine of faith alone. Because I don't want to straw man this position. And according to faith alone, nothing other than belief in Jesus is required for salvation. And I'm sure that there will be people that try to say, well, you didn't say that right, or you don't understand it. So that's what I understand it to mean, faith alone for salvation. One thing I think is interesting is that although faith alone, or in Latin, sola fide, was the cornerstone of the Reformation, there are many Protestants that have rejected Luther's idea. In fact, according to an article by a Protestant group, the Gospel Coalition, where they quote a Pew Research survey, most Protestants reject salvation by faith alone. So it's interesting that the foundational belief that launched the Protestant Reformation hasn't held up when the rubber meets the road among real life Protestants. Now, that doesn't mean that sola fide isn't taught or has been like wholesale rejected by denominations, but I do think it's interesting. Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, both near and far. This is Trevor with Dying to Live for Jesus, and it is my mission to seek the once saved. Just as James chapter 5, 19 and 20 tells all Christians to make it their mission to seek after those who have been once saved but may not always be saved because they have wandered away from the gospel message. And in today's video, I just want to make a pretty simple video just calling out this bold-faced lie by this Catholic apologist, Keith Nestor, who's absolutely slandered Martin Luther and has just lied on this, uh, this, this survey that was referenced in an article by the Gospel Coalition. And what he claims is that now over 50% of Protestants no longer believe the doctrine of salvation by faith alone that Martin Luther initiated. First of all, he sets up falsely handling this information in this survey by first slandering Martin Luther, so you falsely believe that Martin Luther believed that works were not needed to be saved, which Martin Luther has never said works are not needed to be saved. This is a doctrine called salvation by faith alone. So what causes salvation? Not if we need works to be saved, that is separate. And even if he doesn't believe that, he has to first not straw man, even though he claimed he's not going to straw man, he has to first accurately state what it is Martin Luther believes. That's very important when you see what the poll says, because the people in the poll are still agreeing with Martin Luther, and therefore not rejecting at all salvation by faith alone. The, questions, the question that's asked in the survey doesn't ask, do you believe the doctrine of salvation by faith alone? It simply asks a question that Martin Luther would answer the same way too, and but because they answer that way, this guy falsely claims that that means they reject salvation by faith alone. Let's look at this right here. This is the actual article from the Gospel Coalition. I'll leave a link to it in my video. According to a new survey by the Pew Research Center, 46% of U.S. Protestants agree that faith alone is needed to get into heaven while 52% say both good deeds and faith are needed to get into heaven. Okay, so you need good works to get into heaven. That's what 52% uh, of them said, you need good, good works to get into heaven. But that's the same thing Martin Luther would say, who, who uh, is largely considered to be someone who catapulted the doctrine of faith alone. It was already in the Bible, okay? But I myself believe faith alone. I believe that works are needed to get into heaven. Um, the entire Gospel Coalition, the people who put out this article, whom I don't agree with on a lot of things, 
but they hold to salvation by faith alone. They also believe that works are needed to get into heaven. Take a look at this. Um, however, as one theologian has pointed out to me, we are justified by faith alone, with no works whatsoever as a necessary instrument, but we do not get into heaven without the confirmation of that faith through good deeds, as many texts in the New Testament affirm, and which Protestants have historically believed. I agree with this point wholeheartedly, of course. So the entire history of Protestantism uh, so emphatically agrees with the idea that no one's going to get into heaven without good works. Works, Good works are needed to get into heaven. That this guy says he wholeheartedly agrees, of course. So it's very well known that Protestants believe as a, uh, as a point of salvation by faith alone that works are created from our faith, but they're not the cause of our salvation. But anyone who's being saved is going to have good works, and works are needed for salvation. Works are needed to get into heaven. But they're produced by faith along with salvation, and so it's a go-together. So works are needed for salvation. This has been said over and over historically, namely by Martin Luther. So this is absolute slander against Martin Luther. He makes it seem like because they answer this way, they're denying the doctrine of salvation by faith alone, but it just couldn't be further from the truth. Faith gives us both right standing with God and works, and both of these we need to be saved. Okay, we can't have evil works and be saved. Faith gives us those good works. Faith gives us justification, right standing with God. So we're saved by faith. That's the cause of salvation. We do need works to be saved. And this is what historical Protestantism and Martin Luther have always taught. So there's some confusion here because it seems as though, since there's two different groups here, that one group would be holding to faith alone and one group wouldn't. Because it says 46% of U.S. Protestants agree that faith alone is needed to get into heaven. So this seems like it's, it's, saying, it's saying that these are the ones that believe salvation by faith alone. But that's not what it says. It says they believe faith alone is needed to get into heaven. So it's not like these are the ones that believe faith alone. And then while 52% say both good deeds and faith are needed to get into heaven. Oh, well, they don't believe faith alone because the other ones do believe faith alone. That's not what it says. And actually, the first group is the one who's more likely to not be holding to the traditional form of faith alone, because the traditional form of faith alone is not just mere mental assent, which is this first group is more likely to believe that by not looking at the fact that works are needed to get into heaven. Okay, so this is more likely the free grace leaning uh, people who also believe faith alone, but this reflects more of their free grace leanings within faith alone. But the second half are those who have the traditional view of faith alone, which is actually that we need works. So it's, it's not two different sides, one who believes faith alone and, and one that doesn't. Both of these groups overwhelmingly believe faith alone. Yes, there's also going to be a lot of Protestants who don't be believe faith alone, but you can't just... Uh, you just can't make that generalization for this entire group of 52% that answer this way because, like I said, I believe that we need works to get, into, to get into heaven. Martin Luther believes we need works to get into heaven. The Gospel Coalition believes we need works to get into heaven. So a great majority of um, uh, historically believing faith alone faith alone believers would answer this question in this second category. So you can't say it means that they rejected faith alone. That just doesn't make any sense. Okay. And then further on in this article, it says the Pew survey attempts to determine how Protestants and Catholics view sola fide and sola scriptura. But the questions they ask do not really determine this distinction. The specific question Pew asked, the specific question Pew asked for the sola fide question was, which statement comes closer to your view, even if neither is exactly right? The choices of answers were, both good deeds and faith in God are necessary to get into heaven, and faith in God is the only thing that gets people into heaven. 
As noted above, this doesn't really clarify the issue of justification since it asks what is needed to get into heaven, an issue of salvation. And I'm going to stop there for a second because the way that's worded, it's not saying that salvation is the thing that isn't by faith alone. It's just saying that this is an issue of salvation, which is still not by works, and it is by faith alone, but it's not in the justification category. Okay, It's not talking about what causes salvation. As Martin Luther himself said, works are necessary to salvation, but they do not cause salvation because faith alone gives life. So when it specifically comes to justification, this question doesn't address whether or not salvation is by faith alone or that you're justified by faith. It just is a question that has to do with what these different Protestants think about works. It does not at all address salvation by faith alone uh, for all of the reasons that I've already given. And for Keith Nestor to, to read this and to say, well, this means they're rejecting faith alone, he knows that he's lying. He knows that that's inaccurate. It's either that or he needs to stop having a Catholic apologist forum because this is square one of Protestant theology, what faith alone means from the mouth of Martin Luther which is that salvation is by faith alone. That's the cause of salvation. Uh, yes, works are needed for salvation. That's not part of what, what salvation by faith alone even means. So this is just a pure misrepresentation, slander. He's trying to make it seem like Catholics are in the majority on this view, even with Protestants. That's what he's trying to do. This is a conquest. He's, he's trying to make it seem as though He's got the more popular view. The Catholics have the more popular view, and Protestants need to just put down their remaining their remaining little shriveling Protestantism and just abandon the doctrine of salvation by faith alone because, look, it, it's evaporating anyway. That is so wrong. That is That lacks so much integrity. Uh, that, is, that is ambush tactics uh, or bush league. It, it's it just lacks integrity and it's a lie and he knows that he's lying and so you should really take that into account when you're listening to Catholic apologists and the way they they attempt to supposedly um, kind of speak kindly towards Protestantism and uh, not try to straw man and things like that that's absolutely couldn't be further from the truth they just try to they just try to ambush and they try to use deceptive tactics and I hope that's I hope that's pretty clear to you in uh, in this video that I'm making today. That's that's the main reason I'm making it, just to point out this obvious uh, this obvious lie and this mishandling of this information from this poll. And just a word of clarity before I finish this video in what sound doctrine actually is, because it's it's really not. Most people who teach faith alone do not have sound doctrine. Okay, I do teach faith alone. But I'm in, a, I'm in a very minority position of, of what I actually teach in regards to faith alone. And that is that we're saved by continual faith. Faith until the end. That's what's implied in any verses that talk about us being saved by believing. It's believing until the end. We have to keep believing, just like Abraham did. He had options to turn away from faith. That's just why scripture talks about uh, warns us about turning away from faith. So we are saved by faith alone and not by works, but it's not a one-time faith. It's not like you just download faith and then that's just your eternal state that you always have faith. You have to actively keep having faith uh, and not give in to the temptations and the deceptions of sin in order to give up your faith. You have to, you have to strive by faith. Okay, so I just wanted to add that there because that's very dangerous. It's not just uh, it's not just Catholicism or work salvation. Once saved, always saved is a very dangerous doctrine that equally tries to rob you of your faith, just like work salvation or any of these other types wolf type type doctrines are doing. Everybody is out to get you away from Jesus, to get you away from your faith in Jesus. Work salvation, that's the goal of work salvation. Once saved, always saved. That's the goal of once saved, always saved. That's the goal of the devil, to get you to stop enduring by faith in the Lord Jesus and to forget about him and to therefore go back into the world and go to hell because you did not endure in faith until the end. So just most of what this channel is about is me trying to ingrain 
that simple idea into the minds of Christians. Is that you just need to keep going with Jesus. The same way that you started. Believe in him. Trust in him. Depend on him. Hold his hand. And therefore do what he says because you believe in him. Come Lord Jesus. Amen.